Hey, hey, wizards! Guess what? It is Kieran Ashhammer. I'm back for another episode of the Dual School Fire and Storm walkthrough. I hope everybody's doing great. We are here in the enemy's camp at the Last Wood, and we got to find this Galak Poison Thorn because he's the guy in charge here. So let's go ahead and do that thing. Let's see if we can track him down because we got we got to deal with him. A gear crafter. I don't remember this guy. Wow, look at that. I don't think I've ever seen this guy. What well, he has... To... Wow. Look at that. Okay, okay. We're going to stop and look at this here in a second because I do not remember this guy at all. Okay, let's head over here and let's deal with this mess right here. I don't think I ever remember that guy. Brisby Burrowcraft? We're going to look at him because I, I don't ever remember seeing him. Maybe, maybe I've just totally ignored him for years and years and oh, years. Wizard, this is an unexpected delight. I'll enjoy shredding your skin and leaving it for Warlord Cravenly. He'll be here soon. Wow, that sounds like good times. Let's check our deck here, guys. Um, ooh, good thing I checked. Let's go ahead and throw a few more shields in. Um, let's go ahead and make sure we've got a couple blades. And make sure that we've got a couple of those. Ooh, I'm going to have to get some more storm blades. I'm almost out of storm blades. The tough thing about dual school. Okay, Galak Poison Thorn. the hunter will oversee the completion of the siege engines. We will fling Kermie's fire and burn down the last wood. Ooh, I don't He's like that. He's also overseeing the development of wicked new arms in the weapons tent, which will crush the burrower forces. Let's take him down, because we got to stop this right where it's at. Cravenly. We're going to have to keep a keep a memory of that name, because that could be important later on. Okay. Well, let's dump you freed for the moment. Yeah, shield's a good idea. Let's do that. Well, guys, just want to say thanks for checking out these... To checking out today's episode. I want to say a big thanks to everybody who's done three of the free things you can do to support this channel. You can hit that subscribe button. You can, well, obviously you can watch it, but that's not one of the three things. You can hit that subscribe button. You can go ahead and hit that like button, and you can leave me a comment or drop me an emoji in the comment section. Either of those are great for engagement, and those are three things that help a small channel like mine, so I appreciate everybody who's doing a little bit like that. So thank you, thank you so much. Dang, we totally got screwed with that, um, with that Afrit hit. Wow, and these guys have just nailed me for like over half my health. That is awful. Jeez. Definitely, definitely not what you want. Well, let's do a little bit of this, I guess. This is going to be a tough one, guys. It's the three-on-one syndrome we were talking about last episode. So the bosses that don't have real bad cheats or anything, like, for instance, this guy, no big, he doesn't have really bad cheats or anything, but he's, he's charging us with two aggressive mobs. And look at that. They totally demolished my health and put me at a deficit for my attack. Negative 40. Ah. Oh. Sometimes it's the utility attacks that get you the most. Right now, we are just, like, barely surviving. We need two, two more rounds? Gosh, we need two more rounds to survive this. Let's put that on. Okay, guys. And that's just to get rid of the two minions. I, I uh, We might have a problem here, guys. We might have a problem here. Okay, we're in a position to reduce the enemy right now. But we're going to need... Jeez, not that. Okay, let's go ahead and do this. I was hoping to get a shield because I knew the life guy was going to give me another... was going to hit me. Actually, those two fire guys might kill me before she even does, has a chance. Or he. Gallic. I don't know. They're bugs. 
And I think he sounded like a guy, so yeah. I mean, yeah. Wow, those um blades are not all that useful to us. Wow, the power of pips messed us up. We might have had a chance had we um, gotten, the gotten all the power pips. I just don't see us surviving this now. Well, let's see. They all got too many pips. Unless they all fizzle, which I don't see happening. Wow, okay. We got lucky there, guys. Got lucky. But this has to go through and it has to get rid of both of those guys on the side. Let's cross our fingers. Okay, the right thing's happened. Okay, that's good. That's good. Now we gotta get lucky at least another round. Stunned. Okay. Let me get some of the other fire stuff going on. There we go. That's what I need is a shield. Wow, guys. I need to get the right thing right here. Okay. Yeah, we got to heal. That's, that's the only choice up to us right now. Can you believe it, guys? What a comeback. Of course, you know, there's fizzles and the bad guys doing some other things, too. Okay. Let's get this going. It also does help us a little bit that, that life bosses tend not to be as aggressive. Tend not to be. I've had I've had some aggressive life bosses before, but these ones tend not to be that aggressive. Well, very good, guys. What a comeback! Not as good as the one last episode, but hey. We're still in it, guys. Still in it to win it. So let's see if we can make that happen. Yep, there's that hit we knew was coming. load everything up. Well, let's take the advantage of one more blade and then we can crush him. Okay, Ooh, I don't get to use Sun Serpent enough. Let's do this thing.
beautiful thing. Curse you, light child. Curse you and your pet and your mount too. You'll never find the weapons tent until it's too late. Maybe you should look around and see if you can find the weapons tent and see what they are up to. Why? Sounds good to me. But before we go wet weapon tent hunting, let's go see if this nice burr over here has any good deals. Okay, so he's a crafter. So let's go ahead and first look at hats. Okay, is there a hat worth looking at? Let's see here. Fire school only. So that would give me extra damage on myth, which I don't need, unfortunately. So, uh, you know, it's okay, but nothing that I should write home about. Okay, good. Let's take a look at the cloaks. What do we have? Do we have a cloak worth checking out here? Okay, so there's a Burroughs cloak. Again, you know, not going to support any of the dual school stuff. So it would not be something I would necessarily be looking for. Okay, okay. I think there's a reason why I've never stopped to check this guy out before. But definitely right now, because he doesn't... Like, if I was doing, like, dual school um, myth and fire, I don't know if it would be better. Might be better. But definitely would give you a, a good balance. So... That's interesting. I, I just don't ever remember this guy being here, but this is pretty good. Like, as far as the Thames, if I hadn't gotten that Blade uh, blade of the Feld Titan, um, I would definitely be having some options here. What about rings? Yeah, same thing. If I hadn't been able to get the Alpha Mega, Mega Ring out of the gla Gladiator, um, this would some of these rings wouldn't be a bad option. And, of course, nothing to get me excited there. Okay, interesting, guys. I just don't remember that guy. Okay, let's look around and see if we can find these, um, find the weapons tent, right? Where, oh, where could that weapons tent be? There are some ominous sounds of weapon grinding and fitful whines coming from this tent. Ha oh, ha I betcha we have something. Let's make sure... Okay, fire. Bam, bam. Storm. Okay, we gotta get more blades. Otherwise, without knowing what schools we're gonna fight against, this is all we can do. Chances are we won't have... Well, I don't know. It's hard to say whether we'll have a boss or not. We could easily deal with the boss guarding the weapons. Or, maybe not. Lightbringer! I sting your heart! Ho oh, ho, do you now? Well, let's sting back. Ha ha ha! They're calling me this Lightbringer thing. Interesting. Really? This is the first hit you're going to do with me? Okay, I am not liking these guys at all. There we go. That's a good pet. But the but the weakness. Ugh. Well, you know it's better be it's better than before the nerf. Before the nerf, the um those those gins would give you a negative ninety percent, and if there if, and there was nothing that depressed you more than getting hit with a negative ninety. Okay, let's dump some of this stuff. Okay, I don't know why I'm getting all these things, but uh, we'll take it. My deck is being unkind to me right now. Is 
This is what I want to do, but let's go ahead and do this to get rid of the negative 45. not get the there we go that's all I need right there let them do whatever they're going to do get it over with Okay, let's finish this and get out of this tent. I buzz away in shame. I buzz away in shame. They are transforming Bumbler drones into Goliaths here. Terrible. So that's what they're doing. This is terrible. So Goliaths are from Bumblers. What a terrible thing to do. Okay, let's head back and let Tobias know the evil that we have witnessed. Spellbinder, what news have you brought us? You defeated a Shadow Evil Lord? That's excellent news. Ah, but the information about them expecting a Warlord and creating new forms of Goliaths is most worrisome. Talk to Sabra. I think she has worked out a new plan. Let's talk to Sabra. I believe I've come up with something. My sister Sidra was sent to scout Tyrian Gorge, which is where the Arachna mine the Kermes fire they intend to use against us. When we returned from the apiary, Sidra had not reported back, so we sent Florian Sunflare out again to find her. But now he has also vanished. We think he may have been taken by blue razors near the Flower Meadow. Can you help us find him? Why not? This is what I do. I am the wizard. And the wizard is here. To solve all your problems. Yeah, I don't know. It seems like that in most of these worlds, doesn't it? Well, that's okay. That's okay. Because we got to stop Morganth. And, you know, any little thing we can do on the way to stopping Morganth is fine with me. Besides, I think I need to power up some more and level up before I finally meet her face-to-face -face in battle. Because I think she'll probably be a pretty tough fight. That That's my expectation. Yep, yeah, that's my... Okay. Go around it. Alrighty. Let's go melt some blue razors. There they are. Let's um, be kind. Whoa. Perfect. Okay, love getting stunned. What do you think, guys? What do you think? Try us again.
Death Guy jumped into the fight, but that's okay. Should we just do it? Yeah. This might finish him. Let's see. I don't think he'll finish him off, but we'll see. Perfect. Happy to be of service. The sugar glider messenger? Yes, we caught him neatly. Grim Mimo holds him nearby. Grim Mimo. Well, if that doesn't sound like a boss's name, I don't know what is. Okay. Well, guys, let's save our friend here. Ah, we'll take Daniel with us, right? Sounds like a plan. It'll make the job easier. <sighs> Outsider, why do you intrude on my lair? I am a devotee of the Shadow Queen and have traveled from far Zafaria to serve her. Do you think a petty magician like yourself can hope to stop me? Let's take her down. Grimimo. Okay, this is not a problem, guys. This is not a problem, I say. Um, let's go ahead and... Let's set some spells up. The nice thing about going in here with somebody else is he'll like take half the um half half the half the hits. Gives us time to do some extermination. Yeah. What should we do? Ouch. He was saving up a little bit of anger in that one. Of course, they're both using AoE, so it's not like I'm actually taking any relief from hits here. Isn't that the way of it sometimes? Well, it looks like we've got the same idea, so having two feints on Mimo? Yeah, I think Mimo's gonna drop like a rock here in a moment, as long as we get the hit right.
Well, let's see. Is he gonna? Is he going? He's probably gonna do Scarecrow or something silly like that, right? Should I let him have the kill? Sure, why not? I'll tell. I'll get rid of the gorilla. I'll let him have the kill. Looks like he's really working for it too. I mean, I could have finished her off that last round, but whatever. He threw up two things. I'm not. I'm not picky. And somebody needs to take care of the monkey, anyways. I mean, the ape, the silverback, the gorilla, the great ape. La -di -da -di -da 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 Do I got a storm blade? Yeah, but that's I'm not gonna use because he's gonna scarecrow anyways. If he doesn't finish her off, I'd be surprised. Magician, you have unraveled me. I will tell the Shadow Queen of your intrusion, and she will deal with you herself. So they all say. So they all say. I'm going to go grab that gold wisp. Okay, need to talk to? I'm um, sure, why not? Okay, Florian. Spellbinder, thank you so much for freeing me from Grim Mimo. The Blue Razors wounded me, and I feared I would not see home again. I cannot continue my quest to Tyrion Gorge. I can just about make it back to Queen Myrtle Town. Meet me there. Okay. Well, there we go, guys. There we go. But unfortunately, that is all that I have time left for right now. So, I hope you guys have a great day. Remember, do one of those three, or all three of those three things if you haven't done it. Um, don't forget, I do stream every Monday night, so come there and let's quest along and do some side questing. This is Kieran Ashhammer for the Dual School Fire and Storm Walkthrough. Have a great day, guys. Catch you later. Bye-bye.